So I love this particular painting of Paul by a Melbourne artist called Esther Early. And um, what I loved about it was, I love her work, but I love the colours in the piece that she painted. So I believe it is, um, it's oil and acrylic, this piece. And it's actually hung in a, a gallery in Canberra. But um, what I loved about it was Paul's sort of, the look on his face, obviously, but his sort of ruby red shirt, the darkness of his hair, his tan skin colour, and then this olive green with some hints of blues through it. So what I said to Jeff was, let's just have a bit of a play. I'm going to come up with a mood board, more or less, in the next slide. And then Jeff's going to show us what, he's, what he would do with the framing if someone came in with that piece. So I've sort of talked about this already. Bold reds, olive green. It's a 2004 piece by Esther. Um, I think Paul was about 40 at the time. It's actually written online. And I'm going to show you some samples, actually. So I've got Paul. I've got his ruby red top. I've got the greens. If I'm kicking off with Paul and I've got the opportunity to start with my, say, living room or sitting room, or reading area and I want to do something interesting I'll start off with Paul and I'll say take a I might do a ruby red couch in lovely velvet this is actually like an antique distressed velvet I might use that so instead of a straightforward flat velvet especially something that might be in say a study you could use something that wasn't so, so straightforward use that as the couch and then you could use some studs maybe in a gold or an antique bronze um, this is what you could also do, rather than just leaving Paul up on a white wall, I've just sort of pulled this teal and blue wallpaper. And you might have a section where you've got a nice little niche and you just want to do one part with the wall. But like imagine if you also had that with that, and that could be just one little section, not a whole room, just a, a kind of, maybe it's part of a hallway. Um, but it's about being a little bit more interesting with, with the colours and not really going with white. I might add a, a brown leather, occasional chair, do some warm woods. But I'm going to kick off with the painting before I kick off with the colour palette and the paint. Thank you, guys.